parallelogram law of forces. The statement goes like this. If two forces acting at a point be represented in magnitude and direction by the two adjacent sides of a parallelogram drawn through that point of application, their resultant is completely represented by the diagonal of the parallelogram drawn through that point. If two forces acting at a point be represented in magnitude and direction, then their resultant is completely represented by the diagonal of the parallelogram drawn through that point. Now let's understand the proof of this law. Let P and Q be the two given forces acting at O, represented in magnitude and direction by the sides OA and OB respectively of the parallelogram OACB. Let angle AOB is equal to alpha be the angle at which these two forces act. Alpha may be acute or obtuse. Click on the button case 1. Case 1. When alpha is acute, the resultant R is represented as magnitude and direction by the diagonal OC of the parallelogram OACB. AC being equal and parallel to OB represents in magnitude and direction the force Q. From the figure we have angle CAD is equal to angle BOA that is equal to alpha since they are corresponding angles. OD is equal to OA plus AD. Thus we get OD is equal to P plus Q cos alpha. Let this be equation 1. Also we have CD is equal to Q sin alpha. Let this be equation 2. Click on the button case 2. When alpha is obtuse. Angle CAD is equal to 180 degrees minus angle BOA that is equal to 180 degrees minus alpha. Therefore, we get OD is equal to P plus Q cos alpha. Let this be equation 3. Also, we have CD is equal to Q sin alpha. Let this be equation 4. Thus, from case 1 and 2, we have OD is equal to P plus Q cos alpha. CD is equal to Q sin alpha. To find the magnitude of resultant R, applying the Pythagoras theorem to right angle triangle ODC, we get OC square is equal to OD square plus CD square. This implies R square is equal to P plus Q cos alpha whole square plus Q sin alpha whole square. Substituting for OD and CD. Therefore, R is equal to root of P square plus Q square plus 2PQ cos alpha. This gives the magnitude of the resultant R. To find the angle between R and P, let theta be the angle which the resultant R makes with OA in the direction of P. Therefore, sin theta is equal to Q sin alpha by R and cos theta is equal to P plus Q cos alpha by R. 
The value of theta which satisfies these two equations gives the angle between R and P.